Notes receivable transactions. Uh, following our selected transactions for Deshaun Company 2010 and 2011. 2010, we have a transaction where uh, Deshaun accepted a $19,000 45-day 8% note dated December 13th in granting Letitia Clark a time extension on her past due accounts receivable. So we're going to debit notes receivable for $19,000 and credit accounts receivable uh, on December 13th. On the 31st, we haven't uh, received, but we have earned interest on this note, and so we're going to record that. We're going to debit uh, interest receivable instead of cash, interest receivable, and credit uh, interest revenue for $76. And that is a calculation that's made up of $19,000 times 8% times 18 days, because there was 18 days that went by from the 13th to the 31st and that's divided by 360 and when all of that is put through your calculator you should get $76 worth of interest that has been earned but not received earned as of December 31st now on January 27th of the next year uh, received Clark's payment for principal and interest on the note dated December 13th so the 27th we've got 45 days that have gone by so we're going to debit cash for 19,190 and uh, let's see what else. We're also going to credit notes receivable for the principal amount, which was 19000 We're going to credit interest revenue for $114, and that re represents the revenue from January the 1st until January the 27th. And we're also going to credit <coughs> interest receivable for $76. That's the interest we had set up up here and we showed that it was earned back in December 31st. We haven't collected it yet. We're collecting it right now in this total, this 19,190 total. All three of these pieces should equal 19,190. <clears throat> the calculation for the interest uh, that we have done from the beginning of January until the 27th would be 19,000 <clears> times 8% times 27 over 360 days. All of that combined in your calculator should equal $114 and we're done with this piece of it but we're still got some more transactions in 2011 so let's go on <clears throat> on March the 3rd we accepted a $13,000 10% 90 day note dated March the 3rd in granting a time extension on the past due accounts receivable of Shandy, Shandy Company so we will debit notes receivable Shandy and credit accounts receivable for $13,000. And that's happening on the 3rd of March. On the 17th, we accepted $11,000 30-day 10% note dated March 17th in granting uh, Juan Torres a time extension on his account, uh, past due accounts receivable. So it looks like we're getting a lot of old past due accounts receivables taken care of and they're putting we put them on notes so we can draw interest. So we'll, on the 17th, we'll debit notes receivable, Torres, uh, 11000 and we'll credit accounts receivable for 11000 All right. <clears throat> April the 16th, Torres dishonors his note when, when presented for payment. So that was uh, from the 17th of March until the 16th of April. That's how much interest we've got to uh, show that we've earned. So we will debit... <clears throat> the accounts receivable Torres for $11,092. That's uh, $11,000 principal and $92 interest. And we've got interest that we've got as revenue for $92. And we're going to get rid of that note, show the interest being earned, and put it all back on accounts receivable again with no other kind of charges on the 16th of April. Then on May the 1st, we wrote off the Torres account uh, against the allowance for doubtful accounts, which was this one, right? Because we couldn't collect it. So we're going to, uh, well, first of all, before we do that, let's show the interest calculation. The interest calculation is going to be $11,000 times 10% times 30 over 360, which is $92 interest. And now. On the May the 1st, we're going to write this Torres account off against the allowance for doubtful accounts. <clears throat> so we'll debit the allowance for doubtful accounts uh, for $11,092. That's the, that's the whole amount. And we'll 
credit accounts receivable, uh, Hernandez, and then let's see what else. On June the 1st, we received the Shandy payment for principal and interest on the note dated March the 3rd. So now we're going to get the payment for this note, and that will be a debit to cash for the principal and the interest. The principal is 13000 The interest is uh, 325 and we'll credit notes receivable 13,000 and we will also credit interest receivable for 325 and looks like that is the end of that one